You ever wonder what happens to your hook points after you catch a fish? Well, today we're going to find out. I have a digital microscope and we're going to be looking at hooks today. I put a picture of these hooks on my social media and asked everybody, what do these have in common? Nobody really got it, but what they have in common is the fact that they've all caught fish. And I wanted to take a look at them a little bit closer and see how damaged they were after catching fish. The first hook I'm going to look at is a laser trocar a flipping hook. These are actually made by Eagle Claw and they're some of the sharpest hooks you can buy out of the package. They're also very expensive. Uh, let's take a look at that point after I've landed a couple of fish and I actually lost a couple of fish because of this. That hook point is flattened like a nail. Uh, there's no possible way that I'm going to slice through a four pounder's mouth with that. Uh, even though the rest of the hook looks sharp and it feels sharp, that point is nowhere near what it was when it was brand new. The next hook we're going to look at is an Eagle Claw Laser Sharp. You can buy these at Walmart or Dick's or really any retailer, and they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, I like one in particular for using with my Super Flukes and Senkos. It's a 3 aught and it's a Z-Bend wire. I've caught a few fish on this hook already, but you can see at the end of the point, there's a little ball there. And that was actually preventing me from catching fish. I was losing them after uh, a couple of catches. Next up is a Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook uh, that I like to use for larger wacky rigs like a Senko. Uh, this has caught a couple of fish. Uh, not as many as the past two hooks, but it has caught a couple. Let's see what kind of damage it has. It may look slight, but there is a little bit of a bend to that point. Uh, I don't think it's as bad as the past two, uh, and that's why it was still catching fish for me when I cut it off, but I felt like it was at the end of its life. This med rig has caught me a couple of fish, two pickerel and a bass, and I figured why not throw a jig head in there too uh, to see what happens to a jig head hook. Uh, we don't often get to see this type of thing on video, so let's see. That hook point is immaculate. Even after catching three fish, I think that this is ready to go. Uh, so I would throw this again. Uh, in fact, I'll probably put it back in my tackle box after this video. This hook was a lifted jigs uh, extra wide gap Ned hook. And I believe they use Gamma Capsu, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. This one is an oddball hook that not many people are going to see. Uh, this is a Berkeley Gold Point with an out barb. I picked these up at Wacky Worm in Gilbert, PA. Uh, they're one of the few places that you can still get this hook, where the barb is on the outside edge of the hook point. Uh, and these are pretty sharp out of the box. Uh, I like them for drop shotting. I caught several larger than average bass on this hook, and as you can see, the hook point is not perfect, uh, but it's also not bad. You can kind of see that uh, there's a coating on most of it, but that point is completely exposed. The last one we're going to look at is a jig head, and uh, this is one that I tied myself, one of my uh, personal hair jigs. And I just used a Walmart jig head for it. Nothing special. I don't even think that they use a name brand hook. Uh, we'll take a look at that one close. This hook point isn't really a point, but it's more like a triangle. Uh, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing uh, for some types of hooks. And this caught me many, many fish. Uh, so if it's damaged, I'm not really seeing a lot of damage. I think it's just not sharp. What do you think of this one?
So there you have it, my look at hook points up close under the microscope. Uh, what stood out to you? What do you think is worthy of fishing again? Would you sharpen any of these and throw them back out there, or would you just throw them away? Uh, comment below with your thoughts on my findings, and let me know if you want to see more of this. Thanks!